All right, y'all, so I'm making the last cut of three for the ramp. And these are eight foot long. Two eyes. Okay, y'all, so what I wanna do is show y'all how I'm gonna get the angle for this because this is part of the ramp that's going to get it up here. So this is how high it's going to be up off the ground. And that is 25 and a quarter inches. All right. So since I'm not a mathematician or none of that, I have to practice what I preach. So this is how I'm going to get my angle. And these are cut at eight feet, remember. So now this is the the deck board and then this will be the plank for the ramp so I need it about right there I think that's pretty good take that back just a little bit I think that's good right there so that's going to give me my angle and what I'm going to do is just mark this And then I'll make that cut. Now this is the board I'm gonna attach the ramp to, and then it will attach to the decking. Now what I need to do is just find center so that I can evenly space the two by eights that's going to hold the ramp. So now y'all, since I got my angle already, what I'm just gonna do is use it as a template to cut the other two. All right, y'all, as you can see, we got our angles cut at the top and the bottom. And I just temporarily hung these joist hangers with some screws, I'll put some nails in there um, to hold that in place. And I also moved it, centered it on the deck. All right, and then these are the three foot wide decking boards that's going to make up the ramp. These are all uneven, so. This is how this will go. So when he brings up his lawn tools, he'll have just a little bit of hump there, but that's fine to get over, but it's gonna work out just fine. Now, we got these angles in here because he's gonna sit this on some blocks and they're about the same height as that uh, paver right there. So this is what that's going to rest on. And then I have another three foot deck board here and that'll help me to once i screw in each end that'll help me keep it in alignment to where i need it to go and then we'll just make our way up all right y'all so right here i just want to attach this deck board to the bottom of these so that i can keep everything in alignment This one, I'm just gonna eyeball. Yay. All right, y'all, so we already got one of our lag bolts in there. I'm just gonna show you how I did this. First, I used a seventh A to get my depth. Then I switch it over to a three eighths inch. 
Then I'll take my bolt. Get it in there. On the underside, we'll just put this right here, tighten it up, and that'll stabilize this. Okay, y'all, so just to give it a little extra support as he's coming up and down the ramp, we're going to continue with the, the deck blocks right here, and we're going to put this post so that it can give it extra strength. And I'm just going to mark the angle right here, and I'll cut that. Now, y'all, just so that we can have some center support for the ramp, which only makes it stronger. I'm just laying this block here and then the leg will go over here and then I'll attach it from there and I'll put another block in over here. Alpha, the ugliest cut in the world but you know what it's working so that's kind of all that matters don't you think see i told you it was ugly but it's all right this board was a bit warped so that's why i had to kind of work with it a little bit y'all Sometimes you just got to do that. And I'm pre-drilling only because I'm at the edge and I just don't want them to split. And then for my next row, this is all I do. Just take the board. I use my speed squares as my spacers, like that. And I line the edges up. And as you can see, it'll sometimes move, and you just push it back in place. And that has a kind of wider gap there because that one is warped. But sometimes that's what you get. And hopefully by the time I get down to the end, it's not going to affect it too much. to the door. Yay! And of course, so that we don't fall off of it, we will be putting some rails around the edges. But it's good to go. Uh, of course, I got to put screws in all of these. Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay. All right, y'all. So remember how I said I always cut my wood a little bit long so you can see these ragged edges. We're just going to straighten these up a little bit the best that I can. Now, y'all know I'm not that good at straight lines, but I'm going to try my best this time, okay? All right, y'all. So I reset the height of my blade so that it is just, let us see, it just barely goes below that okay
y'all. We got this ramp done. Yay. Now look, I know it took a while for me to get this video to y'all, but I was lucky to get the boards that I did. Uh, the lumber prices are just way, way too high for me to be paying that kind of money. But um, I thought with this video, I would have up the posts and the, you know, the handrails and all that good stuff, but I have to wait till these prices come down. But anyway, got the ramp done, y'all. It works. Um, only thing left for this is we're going to put some little strips on it so it's not so slippery. But uh, anyway, I love y'all. Thank you for watching. And make sure you check out some more other videos, all right? Thanks a bunch. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be blessed.